Alright guys, Heather here from Tide Eyed Iguana, and today we are in front of our glowfish section because today we're going to talk all about glowfish. We're going to talk about exactly what makes glowfish a glowfish, how they get their glow, and also a little bit about their care, what types of colors and what types of species they come in. So let's go check them out. So what exactly is a glowfish? Glowfish are fluorescent fish that glow under black lights or blue lights. And when they glow, they display bright, vibrant colors. Now, some people assume that these fish get their fluorescent coloring from having dye or chemicals injected into their bodies, but this is absolutely not the case for glowfish. The color that you see in glowfish is produced by an inherited fluorescent protein gene that has passed from generation to generation. So it's all genetics. And the fluorescent protein gene is actually derived from naturally occurring genes found in marine organisms. So what happened was, glowfish were originally engineered for scientific research by using DNA from marine organisms in the wild that already had these amazing colors like jellyfish. Now what they did is take the DNA from the jellyfish that causes the fluorescence and they put it into the DNA of the fish, uh, which would be your either your tetras, your danios, your glowfish sharks, uh, and that's what made them into glowfish. Wow! And then of course these glowfish breed and they can pass it on to each generation that inherits their DNA. Now the name glowfish doesn't refer to a certain species of fish. Uh, it's actually a trademark name for the fish that have been bred to have these bright bioluminescent colors. And there are many different types of fish species that can be glowfish, including tetras, danios, barbs, and even betas. And zebra danios were the first type of fish to be bred into glowfish. And we've also gotten in a certain type of glowfish called the glowfish shark, which is actually a type of minnow and not a type of shark. It's just the common name for them because they kind of look like sharks. And as far as what colors they can come in, they can come in red, green, orange, blue, purple, and pink. And I think we've gotten all these different colors in our shop as far as different colored uh, glowfish go. Now, as far as their care goes, glowfish do not require any different care requirements despite their unique appearance. Uh, you just have to basically follow the specific care for each uh, separate species of fish that these guys belong to. Like our glowfish barbs, these guys are tiger barbs, so you would take care of them like you would take care of a tiger barb. And the same goes for like if you have a glowfish beta, you just take care of it like any other beta. And one thing that all glowfish have in common is that they are all tropical freshwater fish. Most are schooling fish that are happiest in groups with others of their own species. And they also tend to do well in mixed community tanks. They can be put with other species of fish as long as they're nice and calm and not too aggressive. But the only exception to this is the glowfish beta, which should be given plenty of space on its own. Now one thing about glowfish is that they can make it difficult to grow live plants in the aquarium. That's because the blue lights and black lights that are often used to display glowfish are not good as grow lights. You can absolutely aquascape with glowfish. You'll just have to make decisions about how you want to display your tank and what kind of lights will work best for your goals. So yeah, that's a little bit about glowfish, about where they come from, how they're made, which isn't with dyes or chemicals or anything. It's all genetic and like, uh, like other types of fish out there that people will inject with dyes or chemicals. Uh, these guys all inherit it from their parents. So we want to thank you guys for checking out today's video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.